Hello crafty friends, this is Grace and welcome to my channel and video number 7 of our latest series. So this one, the inspiration was coming from that double page layout. At first I was thinking maybe I'll do something with squares because that was the background. But really, what I wanted to try to recreate was making my own background. When I started scrapbooking, um, of course... When you start scrapbooking, you are just starting to compile supplies, and so you're very limited with what you have. And so one of the things that I did just when I was starting off was making my own background. So I punched out those squares, and I was just using just cardstock. I wasn't really using much pattern papers because at that time I felt like buying a 80 cents piece of pattern paper were too expensive really not but um but you wanted to buy everything and anything at that time so you'd buy all those paper packs and everything and then before you know it 10 years later you have all this stuff and and you still you're still buying things anyways i digress so that's kind of what i wanted to to do was to make my own background and these are snow pictures so i figured the best background i can make is a kind of a snowy background so what i did was i had this blue cardstock and then i had some white paint and i did water out water down the white paint a little bit and then I just grabbed a brush and just splattered and I did let that dry for a little bit before I continued. Now I like, I still appreciate a cardstock background but now I just feel like just a cardstock background is a little bit too plain for me and so I like to add a little bit of pattern and with this one I'm going to use this stripe border. I did pull out some papers from a winter pack. I believe it's an Echo Park one but it's an older one that I bought a Tuesday morning which sadly they no longer are around but anyways um, I am going to use that just as a border to just add a little bit more design to my layout I didn't really have to because you know the the photos and the other things that I'm going to add to the layout will speak for itself but I just like me a little bit pat of pattern on my layout now so I'm going to do that and I did miter the edges to make it look more finished. Initially, my layout design or the design I had in my head for this particular layout was a circular one. My idea was that I was going to grab those photos. They're mostly three by four. I think I'm going to do all vertical because some of them were horizontal, but I'm going to do all vertical. And then I was going to put them um, kind of in a, and a piece that's round already and then I'm going to make them go on the edge so that they would be rounded off on the top and the sides but then flat on the bottom but then when I was trying to put them together I noticed that um it would just cut off some of the important things that I had wanted on the photos. And so I said, no, I'm just going to keep them straight. And so that's what I'm doing here. Initially, I had wanted them to all be on the bottom and the middle part, three of them, but then I wouldn't be able to put the Let It Snow title. So I kind of moved them around. So now they're like stairs, which, you know, I'm okay with that. So speaking of the title and these uh, snowflakes I cut them out using some thin metal dies um, I used to design for a wafer thin die company and so I kept uh, a lot of the things that was given to me I actually didn't keep a lot I should have kept more but oh well um, so um, that's what I'm pulling here and I did cut those out from silver instead of white I felt I mean I know that the white is the more logical choice because of the snow but I wanted a little bit of shine on my paper so I went with silver I just used some silver cardstock 
and then um, just punched out the title and also the snowflakes. It's one of my favorite ones, and it just reminded me that I should use more of my stuff. That's why I keep them, right? Because I love them. But anyways, sometimes the attraction for newer items gets to me and so I forget that I have I already have existing things that I love now another thing about this let it snow is that it's only a single cut if I were to do this again I would do what all well not all but what a lot of the card makers are doing now where they would cut two to four um part uh two to four identical cuts and then lay them on top of each other to create that dimensional title and I should have done that but I was kind of lazy and that's okay too because um, a lot of the older layouts that I have I put a lot of bulk in them and so my albums are starting to bow so having flat layouts right now is um, makes more sense for me. So now I'm going to finish off the layout by just um, adding or gluing these snowflakes all around my background. You don't really see my background that much with the splatters, but the snowflakes definitely gives away the theme of the layout. Uh, well, of course, the photos as well, but everything else um, matches with the theme of the layout, and I like that. I did handwrite my journaling in a block of paper, again, from that pattern paper, and then I'm going to call it good. There are some close-up shots at the end of this video. If you like these videos, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing, and also hit that bell button so that YouTube will notify you of my next layout. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave that in the comment section below, and I will try to answer it as fast as I can, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye now. Thank you.